who joined the jihad in Afghanistan in the early 80s in the 80s and that person who is yani, a well known mujahid he's living now in Saudi Arabia he wrote in the Twitter okay he said that I'm writing this to warn the sisters from going to jihad to Syria by themselves he said when we were in Afghanistan doing jihad many of the women of the mujahideen when Al-Hilf al-Shamali, Mas'ud Shah and others took over, he said many of the women of the Mujahideen were raped and took as slaves by the warlords in Afghanistan. And he said he remembered a story that he will never forget in his life. He said when we were in Kandahar and the, uh, the, the uh, Americans were bombarding us, okay, throwing bombs, etc. Uh, and then we were attacked by some of the uh, uh, allies against the Mujahideen. He said there was a Mujahid with his fam- family, big family, with children, and everyone left. And this person, he left, of course, to, to run from here and there. Uh, a group of people came to those women and they captured them. They hijacked them. And they distributed them in front of our eyes to the warlords. And the warlords took them in their cars and left. It was a war we could not do anything. The brother, the husband came back and he was asking, where is my family, where is my family? All of us knew that their family, their his daughters and his wife were kidnapped by those people and were given as slaves to the warlords. No one could tell him the reality because we could not see. He was looking at them between the killed people. He did not find them and he said, were they hijacked, were they hijacked, were they kidnapped, were they kidnapped? No one could tell him the reality. He mentioned so many stories, sad stories really. He said, after some time in Kandahar, when they, the uh, Americans and their allies were uh, bombarding us and it was chaos, there were a group of Mujahideen, Arab Mujahideen, who were killed. And their wives and the children remained there. He said, I contacted Hikmat Yar. And I told him that, listen, those Arabs came to defend you and now their wives and daughters will be taken and raped in front of your eyes. Shames on you, Afghani people, to allow those women, the women of the Mujahideen, to be raped in front of you. And you know what happened to so and so. And he said, I contacted, and at that time, Kandahar was under the uh, leadership of Mullah Umar. So he said, Mullah Umar, when he knew this before Hikmat Yar, he said, By Allah, I will not let in my body a single drop of blood until I secure those women to leave Kandahar, even if all the Mujahideen were killed. So he said he stopped all the Mujahideen from leaving uh, Kandahar, and then Hikmat Yar and some other people came to help the people in Kandahar, and then they managed to uh, find a secure path for those women, the Arab women, to leave Kandahar, and many people were killed. That's why many scholars in the past said that it is...